Hi, Taylor Road friends, it's Mrs. Kapuska. I am so excited to share one of my favorite Christmas stories with you. It's called A Very Marley Christmas by John Grogan. It's about this little puppy named Marley. And you see my puppy in the background here. Christmas was fast approaching at the little house on Churchill Road. Cassie and baby Louie wanted everything could be just right for Santa's big visit, but something was missing. Snow. Come on, Snow, let's go, Cassie said. Yes, yes, oh, eek, oh, baby Louie said. Their big yellow puppy, Marley, pushed his giant head between theirs and stared out the window, whimpering softly. Oh, he said, but no flakes came. The snow will come when the snow is ready, Daddy said. Come on, kids, said Mommy. Let's get the, rep the house ready for Santa. This was Marley's very first Christmas, and he wanted everything to be ready, too. He jumped in to help in every way he could, but Marley, being Marley, always ended up on the wrong side of right. That afternoon, Daddy brought home a big evergreen tree. But as he dragged it across the lawn to the house, the tree suddenly stopped. It would not drag. It would not slide. It would not budge. Daddy pulled and pulled the tree back. Daddy yanked even harder. The tree yanked back harder. What the heck? Daddy said. Then he saw the problem. Look at little Marley there. Marley could never pass up a good game of tug of war. Bad dog, Marley, Daddy yelled. Let go. Mommy strung colored lights on the bushes outside. Finally, she got him just the way she wanted. Perfect, she said. But Marley had other plans. Bad dog, Marley, Mommy yelled. Cassie was inside cutting out a chain of paper snowflakes to hang in the windows. She was nearly done when Marley came around the corner and spotted the giant, slithering, white serpent. I'll save you, Marley seemed to say. With three big leaps across the room, he attacked Cassie's masterpiece. Woof, girl, snap. And that was the end of the paper snowflakes. You big goof, Marley, Cassie yelled. Can't you tell a snowflake from a snow snake? Baby Louie painted a picture of a snowman for the front door. Hooray, thought Marley. I love to make art. Ooh, look at that big mess. Ba ba boo, Wadi! Louie yelled. Daddy called from the living room. Tree is up. Everyone came running. Marley came running too. Mommy stopped. Cassie stopped. Baby Louie stopped. Marley did not stop. Whoops, no breaks. Daddy got the tree back up. Sniff, sniff, sniff for Marley. Christmas had come early. Finally, my very own indoor bathroom. Waddy, waddy, wee, wee. Baby Louie screeched. Cassie decorated the tree with ornaments, but the ornaments did not stay on the tree for long. Drop it, Marley, Cassie said. Daddy opened up the tinsel. Marley drove right in to decorate. Look at his hair. <laughs> that tinsel's all over him. Mommy hung a stocking above the fireplace for each member of the family. Marley thought it would be more fun to play elephant. He wiggled his snout deep into the sock and charged blindly through the house. Marley stampede, Cassie yelled. Take cover. At last, everything was just right. Everything except for one thing. The most important decoration of all was still missing. It was Christmas Eve and the fluffy white stuff had still not arrived. 
How can Santa land the sleigh without snow? Cassie asked. Zoe says no, Louis scolded the sky. Daddy kissed Cassie on the forehead. Have you, have you been good? He asked. I tried, Cassie said. Really, really tried. Then Santa won't forget the snow, won't forget you, snow or no snow. And will he forget my toboggan? She asked. No. Let's keep our fingers crossed, Daddy said. Okay, kiddos, time for bed, Mommy said. Santa won't come until everyone is asleep. Cassie and Louie peered out the window one last time. No, so, baby Louie said with a sigh. The next morning, Cassie and Louie were the first ones awake. They jumped on Mommy and Daddy's bed and begged to go downstairs. Marley was up too, stretching and banging his tail against the mattress like it was a kettle drum. Dum, dum, dum. Please, 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 Cassie said. Peas, 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 Louie said. Ruff, 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 Marley said. Daddy tried to roll over and close his eyes, but falling asleep was not an option. Let's go see if Santa came, Mommy said. Marley led the way. The living room was filled with toys and presents of every shape and size. He was here, Cassie exclaimed. Santa came. What did I tell you, Daddy said. Just then from the window near the tree came a giant commotion. Half of Marley was sticking out of the closed curtains. Both halves were making a terrible fuss. Get out of there, you nutty dog, Mommy ordered. What is it, big guy? Cassie asked. What do you think it is? She pulled back the curtains and there it was, falling from the sky, blanketing the ground, powdering the pine trees, drifting over the driveway, hiding the hedges and burying the bushes. It was snow. Marley jumped on his hind legs and yelped proudly as if he had delivered it himself. Your wish is my command, he seemed to say. He's so excited. Cassie threw open the front door. Yes, she shouted, yippee. Zoe, Zoe, zo, zo, baby Louis screeched. Just the, then, a yellow blur streaked past. It knocked baby Louie smack down on his giant droopy diaper and shot straight out the door. Marley had never felt snow before. Ah, wet, ah, cold. He slammed on the brakes. This was not a good idea. Marley went into a full skid, flopped onto one side, bounced up again, spun twice, somersaulted down the front steps and into a deep, Snowdrift. The whole family held its breath. When he finally popped out his head up, Marley looked like a giant powdered donut. Marley raced past Cassie. She raced past baby Louie. She raced past mommy and daddy and straight into the living room. Jumped onto the new toboggan and shook the biggest shake of his life. Snow flew everywhere. Even mommy had to laugh. Santa had thought had brought the best gift of all, and his little helper, Marley, had delivered it inside. Zoe, zo, zo, baby Louis shouted. Goodbye, wow, wow, be. Have a very Marley Christmas. And you can see why this is one of my favorite books because I've got a pup right here that looks a little bit like Marley. And while he looks really sweet right now, some of you guys who are in my groups know that he gets himself into some pretty silly situations. Mm, I think I told you he ate my daughter's entire gingerbread house. He this week ate an entire dozen of eggs including the shell and the carton. And when my kids made a snowman last week, he knocked down the snowman and ate the snowman's eyeballs, which were M&Ms. So it sounds like he got into some, some 
mischievous situations just like Marley. I hope all of you guys have a happy, safe break. I miss you all and I cannot wait to see you. Bye.